Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco and uh, we're here at the Sales by Five Pity Party. Right here. We got some great stuff. Scenic Loop Cafe. Uh, unfortunately, I'm hitting, doing this at the really end of everything. The, the, uh, but to kind of tell you how good the food is, I mean, I have a plate for myself. Say how good the food is, these platters have been decimated. That's how good this stuff is. Uh, this is the same place we had uh, the Valley of Angels wine. Um, and thank you to uh, the winery that uh, sent me an email back. Really appreciate that. So um, what we got here is uh, I just got really basic stuff. I have utensils somewhere here. Fresh utensils somewhere. Oh, right here. Outstanding. All right. So, no. Hold on. All right. I need a fork. So uh, what they brought, what Lori from Scenic Loop brought was some chicken salad, some beef tenderloin, uh, some little little uh, bread, and some homemade potatoes. These things are awesome. Uh, some veggies. Uh, we got some uh, zucchini, squash, asparagus, some carrots. We're going to munch on those in a little bit. And some cookies. Got the chocolate chip right here. Uh, awesome spread. And uh, I really highly suggest you go to this place. Um, hope to do some more stuff with them a little bit later. So um, let me kind of go through what we got here. So I've got the Alice White uh, Lexia 2007. Uh, it's from southeastern Australia. And it's five dollars in HTP plus. Lexia uh, is also known as uh, uh, Muscat de Alexandria. So it's a another version of the Muscat grape. It's a white wine. It's got had it chilling for a little bit in the uh, um, refrigerator here. And uh, I figured it'd probably the best thing to pair up. I had brought the Block 50 to pair up with the beef tenderloin, but I'll be honest, um, I've been kind of sipping on it. It's, I don't want to put it with, I don't really want to use it. So, um, really excited about this because it's, again, something I've really never had before. And I've heard some, some hype about it. So, we'll see how it is. I got kind of vegetables out of it. But I might be, like, looking at the veggies and little... I mean, I'm getting some fruit, getting some sweetness out of it. There's something else, though, something that's kind of vegetal um, out of it. I can't really pinpoint it, but I, I like the aroma so far. I like the bouquet so far. Um, so let's check it out. This is really interesting in a good way. I'm getting some unusual fruit flavors. And by unusual, I do mean stuff I, I just I've never encountered before. Um, it, it, it's, let's try again. I'm telling you, that's got to be what it is. I mean, I'm looking at their, I'm looking at their tasting notes, and uh, the aromas: apricots, mangoes, and lilacs. Blah 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 blah. I think I'm really getting, um, like like a, a tropical fruit flavor out of it. So probably it's the like a, similar to a mango uh, type of thing. I'm getting really a tropical fruit flavor out of it. And that's probably what that aroma was. Um, this is really good. And there's a, there's a sweetness to it, too. And that's what that's that's why I think I really think I like this a lot. There's a good sweetness to it. Um, it's not overly sugarified, but it's definitely, you know, it, it, it's... I could see having this after dinner. Almost almost a dessert wine, but not quite. But I can see having this after dinner, or it's an aperitif. Um, with dinner... Um, because of the sweetness, they, they suggested spicy stuff, which, yes, you, you know, this is the type of food you, this type of thing you'd have a spicy stuff. I'm not sure how it's going to work well. It might work really well with the, with the uh, chicken salad because that's some jalapenos in it. So, let me give you a rating on this. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say probably, I'll say like an 88. 
Five bucks, 88. It's, it's the sweetness that's kind of being seductive. But um, I, I really like it. And uh, we have another bottle at the house. And I'm looking forward to having this um, again. So uh, let's, um, let's hit with the uh, chicken salad because this is probably what's going to pair well with it. Um, this is a great chicken salad. I had this earlier. And uh, it's got some carrots and jalapenos in it. It's got an excellent texture to it, excellent flavor. Um, it's got enough spice in it with the jalapeno that it gives you that little extra kick, little little kick there that you don't get with most uh, to, uh, chicken salads. Mm. So yes, this chicken salad with the jalapeno is outstanding. Um, there's better wines to pair with it, but I think it works. I think it works really well. It works really well. Uh, I'm not gonna eat the chips. I mean, the chips are great, but I'm not really gonna eat them with the uh, with the wine there. I'm gonna eat the beef here, and while you wouldn't necessarily think this beef tenderloin would work well with the wine, it might. Now I've got the back up here. If I really want it, this is so good. Yeah, not so much with the beef tenderloin. Uh, just because I have the wine next to me, I'm going to try it with the with the um, Shiraz, the Block 50. I said the Block 50 isn't bad. It's just that it didn't rock my world. Yeah, I mean. The Block 50, it, it's, it's good, it's fine. Um, one thing I forgot to mention this week about the Block 50, or last week, about the Block 50, is that the thing really what, what led to my disappointment with it is they made this big deal on the label that Block 50 was the best part of their vineyards. The fact that, only, that I can only find two vintages of that of Block 50 leads me to believe that maybe it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to, and that they're normal, um, their normal label, Roland, which is also from the Central Ranges, may have been a, a better play for them. But um, Alice White, they make several wines. Uh, this is like their most unusual. They have a red Lexia, and I don't know why it's red, because the uh, Muscat of Alexandria is, uh, is a white grape. So maybe it's another Muscat version, because Muscat can be a red grape or a dark grape, too. Um, so that might be a, a red grape, but it looked kind of like a rosé, uh, at least on their website. So uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're ever in the San Antonio area, uh, Santa Club Cafe is up in Bernie. Um, this is the, you know, the wine list. Uh, they've got quite a few bottles of wine, a lot of it by the glass. Um, I looked at it back when I was there. Like I said, they've got some great like stuff that everybody has. You know, the, the usual suspects um, that are great for you know people that are just kind of want some something that I recognize. But they've got some really interesting stuff that I want to try again uh, next time I go back there. And uh, I, I'm telling you, you, you need to check this place out. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Um, thanks for stopping in. Uh, thanks again to Sales by Five. Uh, Follow them at Sales by Five, the hashtag with Penny Party. Uh, you can check out everything that's going on. Uh, they have a live stream. I don't have the URL in front of me, but I'll make sure I put that live stream up on, on the video here so you can uh, kind of check out what's going on in that other area. And uh, I might do something. You know what? I'm going to save that for another time. Got something that I might do soon. It was an idea we had a couple days ago when I was uh, hanging out. There's a guy named Robert Scoble. He's kind of big on Twitter in the tech world. If you're not a techie, you don't know who he is, but I got to bend his ear for 
uh, about an hour, a couple days ago. He was here, out here in San Antonio with uh, the Rackspace people. Uh, and it was a great time. Uh, these sales by five people, they did an amazing job helping set that up with Holiday Inn. That's where we had it with uh, Scott from last week. Uh, Scott was gracious enough to uh, set everything up there. So kudos to Holiday Inn. Uh, he was actually here today for a little bit, so I was able to say hi to him again. And um, really enjoying all this. Hope you're enjoying it. Let everybody know. Talk to people. Tell them to watch it. Friend me up. Hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the other social networks. Uh, send me emails. Click the links up top. I mean, I got the marketplace going. If you hear Gary Vaynerchuk talking all about his crush book, you can buy it off of my site. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to hustle, man. That's what it's all about, right? Um, and uh, Sommelier School will be back probably the first week of September. Either, well, maybe the second week. Third or the tenth. I haven't figured out which date this is going to be. And uh, I've got some good ideas for the next few months. I can't say anything. Um, at least not on the internet. But uh, I I'm already starting to starting to do some things to work on uh, some good ideas for uh, the next uh, couple months and I've already got some stuff ideas for next year so and I hopefully we'll have uh, more announcements on that later. Thanks for stopping in we'll see you again next time.